consider three stall showers, huh? And an old-fashioned bathtub. And hot water, are you sure? I'm telling you. The joint was on fire when I flushed it out. That's how come the water tank is boiling hot. Hey, Bernardo. How come you're telling us instead of your own squad? Yeah, Bernardo, how come? Because, uh, everyone knows you guys found a cake of French soap. Oh, good news travels fast, doesn't it? Well, how's about it? Am I in? Okay, Bonabo, you're in. Lead us to it. Oh, boy. Be my guests, gentlemen. Relax, Sarge. I already flushed it out myself. Trust no one. I told you the joint's clean. Hey, hey, this is really hot. Hey, mine works. <laughs> hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Someone's gonna stay on watch. But no, but you take the first turn, huh? Me? Hey, why me? Why do I have to wait and let you guys go first? Hey, now I found this joint. <laughs> Don't you guys use all that hot water? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll hurry up and take over for you. Okay. Hot water! Hot water! <laughs> Boy, the first time this week, man. Woo. Woo. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Take over me! Hey, you guys! Oh, He's a beautiful man. You know what's going to happen to you? You are going to get yourself a real hot water shower. With real French soap. And then you know what? This is what? Clean clothes. Absolutely clean. Talcum, huh? I got a date tonight with the mayor's daughter. She likes me to smell sweet. Oh, hey, I, uh, I also want a shoe shine. One you can see her face in. Oh, and uh, Barbara, calling your best manicurist. You know the one I mean? The blonde with those uh, three lovely eyes. <sighs> Luxury Bonabo. Luxury. It's the only way to live.
Jason. Guest star, Mark Richmond. had a yearning for the good things in life. He died expressing a wish for a shoe shine and a manicure. That's typical of you Americans, your love of creature comforts. I went to a university there in America. Yes. Come on. Clothes and equipment tell me that one of you is a sergeant, one a PFC, and the third a medic. Which of you is the medic? I am. Get dressed. Quickly! Is it all right if I dry myself off? No, it is not. You will do only as you are instructed. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. Which of you is the sergeant? I'm the sergeant. Get your clothes, sergeant. And be careful. Put on your trousers and take the rest of your clothes over there. Leave your jacket. Leave it. Leave it! And sit down on the floor. You, get dressed quickly. Now listen to me, medic. I want you to go back to your unit and get a vehicle. An ambulance would be ideal, but a closed truck will do. You will bring it back here within 30 minutes. Do you understand? They won't let me have a vehicle. You have 30 minutes. You will say nothing to anyone. If you fail to return, or if you do not return alone, I shall kill both of these men. Do you understand that? You tell the lieutenant exactly what happened here. That would be foolish, very foolish. Your 30 minutes begin right now. Dark a vehicle just like that, you should have spent a couple more years in the States. You know, Sergeant, I have a great deal of confidence in the initiative of Americans. Well, that's good. Because there's a lot more between here and your lines. Even if Doc got that truck, and that's a thousand to one shot, you'll never make it out of the town with it. I think I shall. You see, Sergeant, I have excellent insurance. But we control the roads from your lines to here. That may be true. But of course, I'm counting on your medic. His loyalty to you. No loyalty. 
property, no truck. You're figuring that by wearing our clothes, you'll make it out of here in broad daylight, is that it? I just told you, Sergeant. I have excellent insurance. Get up! Move! Listen, uh, Sergeant Saunders got to have a truck right away. Oh, yeah, everybody's got to have a truck right away, boy. Everybody. Y yeah, but the Sergeant said... Don't give me tribulation, boy. Now, these vehicles are deadline as per order of the captain. I got till 10.45 hours tomorrow to get them standing tall and ready to move out. I don't think this dang thing's ever going to move. Yeah, but, but, but listen... You listen, Yank. Now, you go on over to headquarters and get yourself something on a slip of paper to show me. And without that, you ain't got a chance. Millions of men in this dang army, and I got to do everything my dang self. I swear I don't like it. I see Lieutenant Hanley. He ain't here. He had to go back to battalion. Can I leave him a message? Please say no, huh? I'm busy. Well, no. You see, it's, it's Sergeant Saunders. He, he... Yeah, what's Saunders' beef? Well, he, he needs a requisition for a vehicle. A, a truck. A truck? For what? Well, I, I really couldn't tell you that, Sarge. I... Now, listen, Doc. You get back to Saunders, and you tell him that all our trucks are on deadline. Get it? And if he still wants to argue, you tell him to come back here and talk to the exec himself. And he better have a real good reason, because if he doesn't... All right. I'll see if the exec can find time to talk to you. Uh, I, I just want to say that I hope you have a good case for getting the truck. Because, what, well, do you know the new exec? No, I, I didn't even know we had a new exec. Well, you'll like him. He's, he's a great guy, but... Well, he's real G.I. He, he not only goes by the book, he helped write it. On your mind, medic? No, no, I, I was just looking, Corporal. 
can't act goop, medic. I'm wise to guys like you. Why do you suppose I always take the rotor out every time I park her? Come on, scram before I call the MPs. Die weiß nicht, wie gut ich dir bin. Ja, 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 ja. Die weiß nicht, wie gut. Eckmann, ist er schon in Sicht? Nein, der Hauptmann noch nicht in Sicht. Maybe you're wrong about Doc. He might go by the book. I don't think so, Sergeant. Your lives are at stake. No. I knew too many of you in your. Great democracy. Oh, the, the truck. Uh, no, no, the lieutenant wasn't in. Uh, uh, forget it. And uh, what are you doing back here, boy? Well, uh, you're not going to believe this, but uh, well, I saw you were all alone. I, uh, well, I like to work with my hands. I, I haven't had a chance to touch a wrench since I came in this army. Well, now, don't that beat all. <laughs> the way the army does things, huh? Man's a mechanic, they make a medic out of him. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was just an amateur. I had a family car, stuff like that. I never had a chance to be a real pro like you guys. Uh, that song you got in your voice. Where are you from, boy? I'm from Arkansas. Uh, why, that's almost Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew there was something about you. <laughs> yeah, you stick around, boy. We'll, we'll work us a while, and then I got a couple of cans of beer stashed away. Well, good enough. Uh, uh, this, uh, this wheel looks like it's about ready to go on there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I started to fix it myself. I took off the busted wheel, but then that little dude there came in and it's got priority. Yeah, well, uh, give me give me some tools. Let's get on it. Why, you know something, Arkansas. <laughs> Next time I get me a 48-hour pass, I'm going to help out in the base hospital. That's where I am. <laughs> Come on, step over here into my office. beginning to be disappointed in your medic. You might as well face it. They're not going to give Doc a truck just like that. They'll find out what happened here. If your medic isn't back in eight more minutes, my sergeant and I will be forced to leave here on foot. Obviously, in that case, we cannot take you with us as planned. Obviously. <laughs> to get it, old buddy. Hey, uh, do you think maybe we ought to give her a little trial run? Oh, I see no reason why not. Okay.
tu nome. Wenn der Arzt nicht innerhalb zwei Minuten hier ist, ziehen wir ab. Aber erst bringen wir sie um. Ja, try it now. Oh, oh. Oh, I just, I just remembered something. You, you came here first off to get a truck with Sergeant Saunders, didn't you? That's right. Well, why don't you uh, go ahead and do whatever chore he wants you to do before you come back? Hey, you mean that? Oh, sure. Go on now. I'll have the beer ready when you come back. Okay, thanks a lot, Sarge. Nail you in the first ten feet. You sit tight. What time is it? You got the time? Relax, medic. You ain't going anywhere. What are they waiting for? We got a tank coming up to clean out that steeple. Yo, get up. Ah. Lie down on the floor. You sure? Is anyone in an ambulance? No, there isn't. I didn't tell any. Silence. Your two friends are merely stunned. Now remember this, medic. I can do without any one of you, if necessary. You included. Now are there litters in that ambulance? Blankets? Yes. Good. You will go out and bring in two litters and blankets. Be careful, medic. Let no one see you bringing them in. If anyone passes, you wait. You let them pass. Yes? I got a right to know what you're going to do with... with us. Of course you have. You will drive the ambulance, and your two friends will ride in the litters. Outside of town, my sergeant and myself will leave you. And then you can drive back here. It's as simple as that. Schnell. Wir müssen sie fesseln. Dann müssen wir uns umziehen. Hey, buddy, you got a match? Huh? I, I asked you if you had a match. A match? Uh, no, I, I don't carry them. Oh. 
picking up some wounded? Uh, no, no. No? What are you doing here? Well, I was just, uh, uh, I, I just waiting for a guy. <laughs> uh, I guess you guys got to get your wire strung up, huh? Oh, my buddy will yell when he needs me. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's the matter? Uh, nothing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I often wondered, how does a guy get to be a medic? <laughs> well, it's the uh, same way you got to be a commo man, I guess. They yeah. just... Uh... Well, I, I worked for the phone country for a while. Yeah. Well, were you a doctor? Uh, no. No, I mostly did uh, the farm work, stuff like that. Farm work, huh? Yeah. I suppose that would be helpful. You know, for training, fixing up animals, uh, like when they get sick. Yeah, yeah, it, it helped me a lot. Mr. Idiot. Oh, I know your job is rough, all right. But look at it this way. When you fix a wound, you've got some hope it'll stay fixed. But me, I string a phone line today, but I know I'm going to have to tear it down tomorrow or next week. Either that or the clouds will destroy it. Oh, it makes for frustration, I can tell you. Yeah. Look, I, I got to get going. Yeah? Okay. Well, listen, let me run this up to my buddy and I'll bring it right back. No, hey, it's all right. Uh, you keep it. Yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. Okay. I'll see you around. Right. must appear to be badly wounded if we're stopped. Put them down. Lay the men in the litters and cover them with blankets. Hey, come on. Quickly! Something screwy going on down there. Take the wheel. Hey! Hey! I brought back your lighter. Uh, I told you to keep it. Oh, thanks. Hey, I thought you weren't going to pick up any wounded. I saw you put some guys in back. Now, you better stand well away, soldier. These men are not wounded. They're sick. 
They'll have to fumigate that whole place. Sick? Yeah. Meningitis. Meningitis? Just where do you think you're going? I, uh, what is it? I ask where are you going? Where are we going to? Battalion aid. You better get a compass, buddy. Battalion aid's back there. Up ahead, there's a little war going on. <laughs> we know that. We've been ordered to pick up some wounded at St. Malaz and bring them back to battalion aid. Who are you? My name is Saunders. Why are you riding an ambulance? You look like walking wounded. <laughs> What's that? We, uh, got some more wounded in the back. Let's take a look. You got a bad one, poor guy. If we don't get him to a doctor soon, it'll be too late. You got two stretcher cases and two walking wounded. Yes. You, soldier, what's your name and outfit? As you can see, his jaw is smashed to crowd rifle butt. You don't have much to say, do you? Well, uh, what do you want me to say? What's the biggest football game of the year? The Rose Bowl. Where is the Rose Bowl? In uh, California, uh, Pasadena. Okay. Hold it. Saunders, what's your blood type? Oh. Just routine. Give out our usual report on infiltrators. As I'm sure you have. <laughs> Put it in four-wheel drive. Put it in four-wheel drive. Get moving. Now, you weren't trying to leave without me, were you, medic? Getting too brave, medic. Don't try to be a hero. You understand? Do you understand? Answer me! I understand. Good.
down and turn left onto the next dirt road. now. It must be right around this bend. Hey, come on. Give me a yaka. This is as far as we'll go. Just this side of those wrecked vehicles. And this is where I should put you and your friends to the use for which I've brought you so far. What do you mean? Why did you break his hand? I still need you, medic. That's all I can do for him here, Sergeant. 
Yeah. I didn't accomplish a thing. I was hoping it. You can't blame yourself if the wrong crowd got it. This man's pretty bad. He needs some help. You can blame your medic friend for that. Get up. Up! Over that way. Get moving. What about him? You can't leave him here. He'll die. Let him die. Get moving! Field. Push on there. Push on where? Across the field while it's still daylight. Over there, the German lines. My unit laid this field. Your sappers have not had time to clear it, but I know the narrowest point. You and the non-combatant will proceed ahead of me. That's what he meant. He brought us all his way to clear a path through that minefield for him. There's no need to be afraid, medic. We'll make it safely. Be careful. What if we don't get there safely? There's no reason why we can't, Sergeant. Usually, we use pigs to trip the mines. But you Americans are not pigs. You uh, have reasoning power, yes? You'll be careful, yes? Get going! Sergeant, I shall repeat the order just once. And then I'll kill you.
consider three stall showers, huh? And an old-fashioned bathtub. And hot water, you sure? I'm telling you. The joint was on fire when I flushed it out. That's how come the water tank is boiling hot. Hey, Bernardo. How come you're telling us instead of your own squad? Yeah, Bernardo, how come? Because, uh, everyone knows you guys found a cake of French soap. Mm -hmm. Good news travels fast, doesn't it? Well, how's about it? Am I in? Okay, Bonabo, you're in. Lead us to it. Oh, boy. Be my guests, gentlemen. Relax, Arch. I already flushed it out myself. Don't trust no one. I told you the joint's clean. Hey! Hey, this is really hot. Hey, mine works! <laughs> hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Someone's gonna stay and watch. But no, but you take the first turn, huh? Me? Hey, why me? What do I have to wait and let you guys go first? Hey, now I found this joint. <laughs> Don't you guys use all that hot water? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll hurry up and take over for you. Okay. Hot water! Hot water! <laughs> Boy, I had a first time this week, man. Woo. Hey, hey, no. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me! Hey, you guys! Oh, hey. He's a beautiful man. You know what's going to happen to you? You are going to get yourself a real hot water shower. With real French soap. And then you know what? This is what? Clean clothes. Mm, absolutely clean. Bernardo, you lucky dog. Lightly, Barbara. And uh, use plenty of your best talcum, huh? Hey, what are you doing? I had a date tonight with the mayor's daughter. She likes me to smell sweet. <laughs> oh, hey, I uh, also want a shoe shine. One you can see her face in. <laughs> oh, and uh, Barbara, calling your best manicurist. You know the one I mean? The blonde with those uh, three lovely eyes. It's the only way to live.
Jason. Guest star, Mark Richmond. had a yearning for the good things in life. He died expressing a wish for a shoe shine and a manicure. That's typical of you Americans, your love of creature comforts. I went to a university there in America. Yes. Come out. and equipment tell me that one of you is a sergeant, one a PFC, and the third a medic. Which of you is the medic? I am. Get dressed. Quickly! Is it all right if I dry myself off? No, it is not. You will do only as you are instructed. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. Which of you is the sergeant? I'm the sergeant. Get your clothes, sergeant. And be careful. Put on your trousers and take the rest of your clothes over there. Leave your jacket. Leave it. Leave it! And sit down on the floor. You, get dressed, quickly. Quickly. Now listen to me, medic. I want you to go back to your unit and get a vehicle. An ambulance would be ideal, but a closed truck will do. You will bring it back here within 30 minutes. Do you understand? They won't let me have a vehicle. You have 30 minutes. You will say nothing to anyone. If you fail to return, or if you do not return alone, I shall kill both of these men. Do you understand that? You tell the lieutenant exactly what happened here. That would be foolish, very foolish. Your 30 minutes begin right now. a vehicle just like that, you should have spent a couple more years in the States. You know, Sergeant, I have a great deal of confidence in the initiative of Americans. Well, that's good. Because there are a lot more between here and your lines. Even if Doc got that truck, and that's a thousand one shot, you never make it out of the town with it. I think I shall. You see, Sergeant, I have excellent insurance. But we control the roads from your lines to here. That may be true. But of course, I'm counting on your medic, his loyalty to you. 
No loyalty, no truck. You're figuring that by wearing our clothes, you'll make it out of here in broad daylight, is that it? I just told you, Sergeant. I have excellent insurance. Get up. Move. Listen, uh, Sergeant Saunders has got to have a truck right away. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got to have a truck right away, boy. Everybody. Y yeah, but the sergeant said... Don't give me tribulation, boy. Now, these vehicles are deadline as per order of the captain. I got till 10.45 hours tomorrow to get them standing tall and ready to move out. I don't think this dang thing's ever going to move. Yeah, but, but listen... You listen, Yank. Now, you go on over to headquarters and get yourself something on a slip of paper to show me. Without that, you ain't got a chance. Millions of men in this dang army, and I got to do everything my dang self. I swear I don't like it. See Lieutenant Hanley. He ain't here. He had to go back to battalion. Can I leave him a message? Please say no, huh? I'm busy. Well, no. You see, it's it's Sergeant Saunders. He he. Yeah. What's Saunders' beef? Well, he 